afternoon, everyone. I'm pleased to have you attend my presentation today. First of all, I'm going to give you a couple of pictures here. Do you have any idea after seeing those pictures? Have you found one point in common? Yes, they are all celebrities who have had successes in their lives. Let's see Obama first. Do you think he is qualified to be called as a successful man? Of course he is. In terms of fame and honor, how about this guy? He is a famous soccer player who is Ronaldo. And I believe that he got a success because he became a one person of the best in what he is doing. And do you know this man? Warren Buffett. Yes, <laughs> he's Warren Buffett, who has been ranked as the richest or second richest man in the world in terms of money. And that's why I would like to be his best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> and what I'd like to tell you with these people here is that success could be different from person to person. And that's why I'm standing here to talk about my success, not your success, <laughs> not your success, <laughs> not someone else's success. <laughs> success is something too difficult to solve. OK, let me start with my success here. What is success for me? I have thought about this for a long time. And I found my success in present happiness. I recommend you not to look for your success in somewhere you've never been. Are you aware of the fact 90% of people who had won the lottery went bankrupt again in five years? They believed them. The money would give them success, but unfortunately it turned out that something they have never gotten before, which is money, drove them in, into a poor situation. And it even could be worse than before they got the tremendous money. Success is not a thing that never you never experience, but a thing you've ever had which is present happiness. Let me move on. I believe that you all know about this guy, Steve Jobs. He is a creator of iPhone. And I'm going to introduce him to take a great example of a successful life today. In the meantime, I'm going to give you one graph, which is called the success graph, which I named. And it will present his whole life and can tell how successful life he had before. Here we go. He was born in 1955, and his biological parents was too poor to raise him like a normal family. So they decided to raise, decided to give him away for adoption. They asked his step parent to let him go into the university. I guess he started his life from the bottom. And he was not a good student, cutting the classes. And he even quit his university one semester after he got in there because he didn't want to give any kind of financial burden to their step parents. I guess again it goes bottom. 
He launched his business, first business apple, with his friend, who was Steve Wozniak. And I guess it is the first success for him in terms of achievement. And his business had gone up little by little and over and over until, boom, he was kicked off from his company, which was crazy, and again going down. But he came back to his company, Apple, as the CEO of the company, and again going up. But he was diagnosed by pancreatic cancer and had to remove the tumor. Again, down like this. After that, he was able to announce the new product, which was iPhone. And uh, I believe it is the present of God. <laughs> <laughs> and again, going up, I guess so. But he had to have another surgery because the cancer had spread to another organ. After recovering uh, from all surgeries, he released second product, which was iPhone 2, and which was second present of God. <laughs> <laughs> and his company was valued as the most valuable company temporarily by beating the Exxon company. And it was the most and the best season for the company. And I was sure that he went to heaven because the people in heaven also are eager to get an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> and he left in the end of his story with respect and honor from the world. It is his story. There's one thing I'd like to tell you with his life here. I'm going to give you one, a vertical line here. I named it Present Happiness Line. Okay, here's the thing. What if he finished his life in this point, or this point, or here? He wouldn't have been remembered as that successful man. And he would be, he would have been no one to us. Because he finished his life in this point when he was loved by everyone in the world and even by the person in heaven. That is why he is remembered as one of the most famous men in the world. It is the theory of present happiness. Okay, let's move on next. How many successes do you think people are able to have? It is easily mistaken that success should be only one because most well-known people got to be famous from one factor, factor such as money or beauty or sex. I'm oh, sorry, sex is not there. <laughs> 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 I'm going to give my three stories so that I can prove that success could be many things. Can I take this off? <laughs> kind of hot here. <laughs> can you see that? Have you ever in love with somebody before? <laughs> I've never been in any kind of a relationship with any girl before I entered the university, which means I lost my virginity. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> and I have a few blind dates, a few blind dates, to find my first girlfriend. And my, 
I met my first girlfriend after 11th blind date, which was a few, not so many times. <laughs> and since then, I met her every single day. And uh, I even waited for her in front of the building where she was while she had lessons because I wanted to be as close as I could be. That was all <laughs> why I was there. And six months later, after we started our relationship, I had to leave her to go to military service, which was beautiful for a Korean man. <laughs> And you know what? 91% of people broke up with their girlfriend when they are in military service. And if their relationship for less than one year, the ratio of breakup will be going up to 93%, which is disaster. <laughs> but the terrible situation didn't show up to defeat my love which means I was 107%. <laughs> she was my entire life at the moment. <laughs> my heart here. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I thought that I had lost everything if I had lost her. She was all I had. That's why I believe that love could be one of the factors of success for me. Let's move on then. Can I take one more off? No. <laughs> no. 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 You can see the picture here. Can you imagine that how your life will be going if you are a president of a company? And can you say that you get the success if you are in kind of that situation? When I was in the army, I counseled the people who had personal problems such as financial or girlfriend issues. And there is one guy who had complex issues complex. He lost his mother when he was in military service mm -hmm. and he lost his girlfriend, not died, just broke up, <laughs> who he had been in a relationship with for more than three years. He was devastated and desperate and hopeless. He thought that there was no way out. And I set up to counsel him. One month after we started our relationship, he could be back to his normal life. All I did was just being together and understanding each other and seeing everything at the same, of, at the same level of sight. And I was sure that all he needed was what I did. And after the accident, the incident, some of the people in the military service asked to counsel them spontaneously, not as a duty. And I was so feeling good because they were looking for me. And even though they were discharged from the military service, they have been keeping in touch with me, some of them. I believe that I remain the people there, my people. That's why I think respect is my second factor of success. And then move on next. Can I take one more off? No! no. <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 It's going to be 
lato, ok? <laughs> okay. Do you think that I look strong? Yes. <laughs> Too much. I believe I am. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> Less than him. I had a proper amount. I never stopped working out since 2004. But my past was totally different from now. I was a huge guy, weighed 210 pounds, which is as same as 94.5 kilograms. I just calculated I was cute and man. <laughs> <laughs> it was when I was in my high school. And I decided to go to gym as soon as I had university entrance exam. And I was trying to work out so hard and I used to stay there for more than three hours a day. And I used to go every day. I tried. And one day I felt like I'm re rewarded for my dedication. Because some people in the gym came to me and to ask to coach them in some way. Big change from the fat body. <laughs> <laughs> and my trainer said to me I was a little bit talented. But more important thing is that I was rarely very diligent man among young people. That is why I achieved the remarkable result in three months, which people usually can reach in one year. So, I have talked about three things as factors of my success. As we talk about like this, success is present happiness and could be many things. And I'm going to give you three success graphs in fact in terms of my three factors here. Firstly, in terms of love and honor. and achieve well, understanding I am a bad writer. Anyway, <laughs> as I told you, I met my first girlfriend when I was 20 years old, and it lasted until 23 years old. And the, even though I didn't tell you, I met my second girlfriend 24 to 25, <laughs> <laughs> and from 26, Till now, I'm in love with my present girlfriend. And my success in terms of love would be like this, and like this, and like this, continuing. And as a second factor of the success, because I went to military service when I was 21, but I started the counseling from 22. 223 for one year, and the it's going to be like this. And for the last thing, it is something interesting. Even though I try to go to gym every day, but actually there was some period that I worked out hard and the period that I worked out less. And the, the period that I worked out hard was this point and this point and this point, like this like this, like this. Can you figure out what's going on here? The period was when I didn't have girlfriend, which means <laughs> <laughs> one tour to hook up my girlfriend, whatever. And I'm going to give you one innovative graph here. Here's the thing. What if I put all three graphs in the new graph here to 
together. There was a hall and hall and another hall. But if I put three graphs together, there wouldn't be hall at all. Which means I have been having more successful life than Stephen Jobs because Stephen Jobs was like this and this. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think it is true? Of course not. Why not? Because I grafted this with love and honor achievement together. But his graph was just with business, which is achievement. So let me change his old graph to new one. His graph was like this, and this, and this, and ended like this. Even though he failed his life for a moment several times, in this point and those point, but I guess he might have something more valuable things, such as challenges and love. Challenges from failure for next success and love from his family to recover the terminal illness to us. And I'm going to fill out this hole with challenges and love. And now his graph is the same as me, which means we are equally Successful. <laughs> yes, success is something which is present happiness and could be many things. Someone believes that success is too vague and abstract to define. It is difficult for them because they're looking for their successes in the wrong place. Success is nothing like something lottery that you never know how will change your life in the future. Success is something around you and near you that something makes you happy. I believe that I have at least three successes in my life. And if either of you can find more than three successes, that is how you could be more successful than me, who is as successful as Steve Jobs. And from now on, count your successes and go for it. Thank you. So um, with your subject, uh, right from the start, you were, you know, you have a good strong voice, so you were, you were almost yelling at us. <laughs> uh, so I think we were really paying attention, and that, that really worked, especially on this kind of subject. You, you said this is this is about my success, not everybody, not just success, and everybody else's success. So that was unique. Uh, so really, kind of power speaking. That was that was really good. Uh, walking around and moving around, very good. Um, creative, taking off your shirts was, was good. Um, you also came back to the beginning at the end and you had a little twist with the being more successful than Steve Jobs and good conclusion as well. And so I, I, I've known you from the beginning since MCC and, and you've come a long way. You used to be a very kind of quiet speaker, very monotone, but uh, I can see that you yeah. really improved. Great. <laughs> Your introduction was very clear, and one thing I wanted to definitely say is you had a lot of use of inflection, and what I mean by that, it was very good in pronunciation, your rhythm, your syllables, your flexibility, and your voice, that was excellent. 
also, you, as he says, you did walk around in, in the room. Try not to walk in front of the screen, though. Oh, yeah. That's one thing um, I know I have to be careful of at times, because I like to walk around, so I'm making sure I'm getting everybody's attention. I'm usually in a bigger room, but that's something it's important to take caution of. You use the flip chart, which is a good prompt. The only thing is try to uh, write bigger. So you have people at the back who can actually read it as well. Also, I noticed that you said, there was a part that says, oh, I don't have neat writing or something like that. Try not to do that because then they hear that, right? And then you did excellent storytelling. And you did an amazing analogy of the way you did use the flip chart when you're going like this. That was very good, a very good analogy. And to end it off, I would like to say that you had a great topic to end us off with and that we can all look within ourselves and also to set our goals to be a success. So very good. Thank you.